So we're going to cover three different ways to generate drop-down lists in AppSheet. So the first one's going to be a static drop-down list. So you can use this option if you know in advance that these lists aren't going to change at all. An example you know, to this might be a status column where you might have a series of different uh, statuses such as not started, in progress, and delete. And as you can see here, you're just using the enum type column inside of AppSheet and you specify the values and then they show up like so in uh, the application uh, in a drop down form. And then with any of these, you could choose whether they're buttons or they're stacked buttons or a drop down um, option. If you need something more dynamic, the second option is a reference. Um, so anytime you create a reference in AppSheet to another table, that field will show up as a drop-down list item. So you can see here in this app emulator on the right side, I have project ID. That is a reference column that I've established to a project table, and my drop-down list will dynamically change based off the projects that are in that table. And I could also add new projects directly from that drop-down list as well and open up the form to uh, create those projects. So that's your second option. The limitation to this is obviously um, you have a built-in relationship between two fields, and you may not want that in some situations. So this kind of naturally leads into the third option within uh, AppSheet. I'm going to um, pull up... Um, pull up, uh, I'll just use a uh, project ID here as another example, but this, uh, this option allows you to use any table in AppSheet or any list really to create a drop down menu. Um, and that's going to be using this valid if entry under data validity in your column table. And all you need to do to generate that list is to reference some, some list and that list can be a table. So I'm just using the projects as an example again. So I could reference the project table and then a list of project IDs from that table to pull a list of, um, well, if I get the formula right, to pull a list of uh, uh, project IDs from that table. So that would generate that dropdown list. I can also um, use a select function as well if I wanted to maybe only allow users to select a list where the status of a project is equal to a certain value or maybe not equal to complete as an example. So I could use a select statement then to only query certain projects that fall within a certain criteria. Um, so that could be dynamic in nature as well with that. So you have those options and these are just some examples of lists that could be generated. Uh, but in general, any formula within uh, the app, um, any formula right here, as long as it generates a list of some kind, will turn into a drop-down menu for your application. And then on top of all this, if you wanted to just have suggested values in a drop-down, but not necessarily force the app users to use those values, you can also, um, under auto compute, use suggested value formula instead. It would just, you know, it behave just in the same way as this valid if formula, but with suggested values, app users can always specify another custom value if they wanted to.